Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to two and I just rolled my. And you rolled your ankle. I just rolled my. I'm wearing it. Shoo! You had to jump in the puddle. Well, it's it's yeah, muddy. muddy. It's muddy out here. You got. You're about to get even muddier because we got some chores to do here. It is a beautiful 50 degree day, and there's snow. Look, it's the great. It's the snowball. Well, you guys are both loaded. Hey, Rick. Hey, hey, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. You want this? Lucy, ready? Hey, sit. What a beast! Anyways, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Starting the day off at the annals, we got to we got to prepare for what do you what do you how'd that go? What do you call like an Arctic blast? Is that what you're gonna call this? Ooh. We're going from 50 degrees to negative seven. Yeah, what's up? What that? do you call that? Now, tundra. The tundra blast Arctic. Yeah, see, see if Rick will catch it. Rick, Rick, pay attention. Hey, come on, Rick, you got it. Oh, Rick, what the hell, Rick? He, dude, he's, hey, no, he's Dale, gonna. Dale's got it. Dale's no, got it. Dale. Yeah, <laughs> they don't got, they ain't gotten it. Okay, Rick will get payback on you when you go in there later. Don't worry. I'll bet you. Oh, yeah. buddy, Rick, it's all fun and games. So we are going to. Uh, well, we gotta feed the animals first. Rick, quit fighting the pig. We gotta feed everybody, get them taken care of, and then we like. So we gotta prepare for the Arctic blast. This is, dude, Lucy. Oh my God, she jumped so high. Lucy. Rob likes it. Rob likes it. No, he doesn't. Oh, he, dude, we gotta make him snow cones. Big, big buddy Ralph, no way. Oh, Stop dude, my hand. Look at that. Why does he like it? Ralph, you're from the desert, Ralph. You're not supposed to like <laughs> snow, I don't think. Yeah, how's that work? Big buddy Ralph. Anyways, today's objective is actually has nothing to do with farm stuff. We just have hella chores. Not hella chores. We we gotta do some bigger, bigger things. We gotta clean out the barns. The the two big barns. We gotta clean well, we're not gonna actually clean out, we're just gonna move the barns and then stack them with new hay. Now we ran out of straw, but we have a bunch of the big bales, and uh, three of them were from last year, so they're kinda old, so I don't feel bad, you know, not wasting them, but using them as uh basic just using them as bedding. We gotta move the barn, like that one's gotta be drug over there, so it's kinda, it's clean and clear. Fill it full of new straw, new bedding, because it's supposed to go from, like I said, 50 degrees today till negative seven. So we wanna make sure the animals are nice and warm, they're comfortable, they're not sleeping on the poop, the pee. We're refreshing basically everything today. But then we got wind that Walmart is starting to kinda discontinue selling pews, okay? So we called around a few different ones, we found one local one that has some pews, so we are gonna attempt to go in there and find the cheapest pew that they got, the absolute cheapest and give it a test that way if you guys have a local Walmart who's still selling pews I know a lot of you guys comment what you know what pew to get for this what to get we're gonna go get the cheapest one and, and we'll let you know if it's good or not so that's the objective is testing Walmart's cheapest pew pew but before we do that we got to feed these animals you guys stay tuned Chungus what up buddy hey, you want no. Lucy Lu no oh, Melly no God. no no don't get I'm Chungus you gotta get Chungus some oh, oh rip God. everything's just wet Really? Big chungus. Stay, no. no. Big chungus. There you go. Oh, you got it. Good boy. We got some. Oh, you got water. We're good. Chungus is taking care of these big animals. Ralph is. Ralph's got a two today, boys. You think he's hungry? Yeah. He, he, might, he might need some Scooby snacks Snickers. or something. He's not himself when he's hungry. I don't think. He's been. He's been fighting everybody, Ralph. Quit fight. Quit fighting everybody. Don't fight the pig. No, don't. Ralphie, come on, Ralph. Let's go get some food. All right, let's get everybody fed. Jerry, how are them nuts doing, Jerry? You want some grain, buddy? Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey. I think he fell. Brett, did you slip? He cushed. Good boy. Good boy, Ralph. He literally slipped on ice and fell on top of the pig. Now, I will say, for those of you guys who don't own pigs, they are the most dramatic animals you'll ever encounter. How's it going, big boy? Like, I could go, like, pat one on the back and he'll squeal just like that. So don't think that he got hurt from that. They're a little dramatic. There you go, Lama. What? Felicia and Tiffany, come on. Little ass. How you doing, buddy? That thing's so cute. I love how it still has its bangs. No one gave it a haircut, but it's got bangs. There you go. There you go. All right, everybody's fed. So now, this is where, I don't think it's gonna work. I didn't wanna get stuck. The skid loader has to cross an ice path with a, how much do you think that bale weighs? 800 pounds? A couple hundred pounds, yeah. Well, let's see if we can move this hay bale. The idea is to take the bale and, oh, well, should we move the, well, no, let's see if we can get the hay first. And then if I can get the hay, we move the enclosures. Yeah. Because if I can't get the hay, then you don't want to move the enclosures. We just need to go get smaller but bales the, of hay. The enclosures might be frozen too. I would, they might be. I don't know. There's not a lot of snow by them. No. I think we can move the enclosures. Try the hay first. Yeah. Because if we can't get the hay, we're going to have to go find like square things of straw, which is not easy to find sometimes. Um, they have them at auctions, but we can't wait till the auction because it's too cold. So anyways, let's get this freaking bale of hay loaded up. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Better, but 
than I thought. Yeah. It's kind of tricky getting that bale off the second floor there, but oh, we did. I love the sloppy mess. You like it? Yeah. It's enjoyable. Rick, you ready for some new bedding? You don't even care. You would live in the house if it was up to you. He just wants friends. He wants to hang. I think he needs to sleep in Manchester's apartment. 24-hour hey, no. challenge. Go inside Manchester's apartment. I take Dale. Dale, Dale. Dale's big chilling. Come here, Dale. What are you doing, big hey, guy? Buddy. Jerry. How them nuts doing, Jerry? I'll take Jerry. Big Jerry. He'd Jerry don't like Jerry would just sit on the couch and he'd just big oh, chill. Yeah. He wouldn't he wouldn't do nothing. Rick would destroy everything. Dale would eat everything. Dale would eat everything, yeah. Alright, well, Hayes in. We're gonna grab the skid load. Nope, we're gonna grab the mule, bring it in here, try to move, hopefully move the shelter, and then reload with him. Shoo, we made it! Chain it up! We'll see if that works. You broke the winch. Did it break the winch? You yeah. broke the winch. Oh, what the hell? I just snapped the winch. Rip. That was a nice winch. You don't think, you think it ripped the bumper off? No. no. So, that's, so, yeah. unhook one and just loop it. it. Yeah, you try it. That could have been bad. Big rip. Hey, right there. Hey, that's a, that's a, I will get that's it. A good that's windshield. a good windshield. Oh my god. I would have just lost my head. Oh yeah. Did it come undone? Yeah, it just came off. It ripped the hook out. Oh, oh yeah, it ripped the hook out. Yeah. Big rip. Where'd the hook go? It did went flying, I think. Thank I think Banjo's right. theory yeah, was right. right. It's done. Yeah. If that windshield wasn't there, I definitely would have died. That was literally oh, that was really right on your forehead. That's crazy. I mean, I would have died. That would have been a good title. Rip. rip. That would have been nice. I would have went to your yeah. funeral. Live stream, they make some money. You guys took that joke way too serious last Wait, time. Did I they said, really? Did they? See, I told you flares to sell out. Jeez, man, get some sense of humor. Real talk though, live streaming. <laughs> Big rip to move in the uh, shelters here. If we really, really, really needed them moved, um, what we could do is we need to get better eye bolts that actually go through and have a nut on the end so it can't fly out and kill somebody like that. And then also probably bring in a little bit heavier machinery. You know, I don't, I'm trying to think what, well, if I could get my truck in here, it's got a winch. I don't I, know if you'd have much more I, traction. The, the than problem that, is this the traction. That thing, because some of you might be like, well, why don't you just use the winch instead? That thing, I've, I've done both. When you use the gas in that, it has way more power than the winch. Like yeah. just a brute force, but that thing's frozen. It's stuck, which is okay. We, we looked in it. There's, we'll just cover all the poop and pee. A lot of times, actually, people in the winter, they actually, it's called deep bedding. You just add, 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 and then it, the poop actually creates heat. And then at, in the spring, you do a spring clean out, which is probably what we're going to have to do. So now comes the uh, real test. Do you think it's going to fit? Should fit. It's gonna be, I think it's going to be a tight. It's going to be tight. I think we can squeeze it in. We'll have to squeeze it. So let's see if we can get the hay bale inside. You're just. You're going to hit this pose, you think. You're barely on this pose. I don't want to be in here. Something pop. Rip. Is it if I if the hydrant wasn't there would it work? Oh yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Rip. Hang on, I think I can move this thing with the skid loader. Yeah, this one's not off the ground. You're just you're just, just creeping again. Help us unwrap it, buddy. Shoo, look at this. Dude, it literally looks like we still have a whole bale. We ended up, instead of just unraveling it all, we just started unraveling it. Look at this. That's some good that is like, there's like three feet. Landed. Look at this. Jump in it. Dale, climb in the hole. What do they say? You gotta find a needle and a haystack. Needle and a haystack. That, I'd say this is a freaking haystack. Find a needle. Look at this. We, we've been, we, I think we've been messed up this whole time. Yeah. Because you could honestly probably get like four barn, three, three to four barns worth out of that. Jerry! Oh, okay. He's looking for his nuts. Oh, that's God. a needle. Oh, Dale, what are you doing, Dale? Hey. So, we actually, instead of just doing one bale in here and one in the other one, we're gonna put, take this other bale to the other side. Because this is insane. Like, the nice thing about this, this is also their food. So they can eat this. Hey, hey, no fighting. No, no, look, they got all amped up. They're, they're fighting in the new hay. Hey, quit fighting. You you calm down there, buddy. So we're gonna hook up 
to the, the other the bale that's still here and then take it to the other barn and do the same thing this is the way we should have been doing it yeah this so, is so much, much more efficient so much more efficient because you could easily look at see big jerry jerry see he's munching jerry's <laughs> eyes so far far you ever know that yeah he's 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 giving it one of them one of them leans you know what i'm saying so anyways let's get it hooked up good This hay goes for my, it, it really puts in perspective how much these guys eat. Like, yeah. we filled two barns and still it looks like we hadn't even touched the bale. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna leave the bale right there. They can eat it, they can do nothing with it. It's gonna stay dry. Since we've gotten rid of goat, multiple sheep, turkeys, we've made some space. I don't believe they're gonna need that corner. Most of the animals use the other barn anyways. So now we've got, I mean, look how fluffy this is. They're gonna be big, chill, and warm, aren't you, big guy? Dale's gonna be happy. Yeah, I can sleep in that. Oh. It's looking nice. And they can eat it if they want. So we're actually gonna leave that in there. And then if they wanna eat it, they can. And then when we need to refill it, once they poop and pee, you literally just do what we just did. Take off a few layers. You could roll it out, grab it, take it to the other barn. Ideally, if we had bigger barns and less animals, what I would do is put one of these in each barn and then you basically just unload it as you need it. Once it's fully used, you just move the barn and start over. So I would say, it's effective. I would say they're gonna be nice and cozy. Jerry's got a blanket. Jerry, it's a snuggie. It's a goat snuggie. Look at that. He's 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 hanging out. He's munching. So that's the good thing. Is they got tons of food now. It's a and the food's gonna stay dry. Versus over there, that food does eventually get wet. Um, they usually eat through it anyways because the center stays pretty dry. But another food source. Tons and tons of warmth. So animals are gonna be good for this Arctic tundra front that's gonna be coming in over the next few days. But with that being said, chores are done. I almost died by. Look at her udders. You see them nips? What? She was she was scratching? Yeah, I didn't, you guys didn't see. No, she uh -huh. she put her back foot up and I saw nipples. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't. Never seen, I, didn't I, I mean, I knew she was a cow, but I didn't expect that. Yeah, I'm excited now. Anyways, we got everything figured out. We almost died. We got the barn moved. We're good to go. See you guys at Walmart. Look at Ralph. He's in the barn. I've never seen him in the barn before. Ralphie! What? You checking it out, my guy? What's Big Ralph doing? Hey, I'm not gonna make you cush. Don't worry. Dude, he was big chilling in there. That's crazy. I've never seen him in there before. We were looking for Ralph. I'm like, how do you lose a camel? As soon as those bale spears are bent. Looks like a wiener. Anyways, all right. See you guys back at Walmart. Shoo! All righty, folks. Made it down to the wonderful world of Walmart. So, like I talked about, our objective here is pew pew duty. We've been on a pew pew grind lately. And actually, I purchased one you guys haven't even seen yet. We're going to try shooting that later today. Uh, but the goal is to go in and see what they have. So, you went to two Walmarts this morning. Yeah. And yeah. you were told that they're yeah. done with guns. Yeah, they don't sell Gun. them anymore. Yeah. So, this could potentially be the last Walmart pew pew. That's why we're doing it. We're like, if Walmart's taking away guns, we got to, you know, milk it for what it's worth. We got to see what they've got left. And it might not be much. I'm sure they have hardly any ammunition. So we're going to be forced to buy whatever pew we currently have ammunition for. Because ammunition's harder to find than the actual pews itself. They had one box of 300. Uh, wind mag? Yeah. That was it. Who, who's out here shooting 300 wind? And I was like, dang. Shooting elk out here or something. So anyways, we're going to roll in. We have no idea what's going to be in there or if we'll get kicked out. Rip. Not someone. Gun, I'm going to eat one. 100 bucks. I don't have cash. $100? That's great. I'll eat that for 100 bucks. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of gross. Hundred bucks. You don't know where that's been. Hundred bucks. I'm not giving you hundred dollars. Who's giving me hundred bucks? You? <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 oh no, I'll, I'll eat it for a hundred bucks. Hey, I got twenty on me. I'll give you twenty. Who's doing it for twenty? I'll do it for twenty. All right. Come on, you gotta, you gotta give me a nice. I'm, I'm you the twenty. Nice. Oh, I want to die. Big rip. <laughs> oh, you, you better blow. You better blow on it. <laughs> that's so gross. Nah, nah. Would you eat it for twenty bucks? Would you eat this for twenty bucks? I, I heard a hundred earlier. So oh, rip. <laughs> The whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Bite. Down the hatchet. Oh, that's gross. He's rich now. So you're buying ammo. Got it. Okay. All right. Anyways, so <laughs> <laughs> interesting. All right. Well, let's roll inside and see what they got. Shoo! All right. Oh, hey. Before we forget, I need a bunch of these propanes. Like, like, like buy a buy the the rack. Yeah. Why is that so expensive? How many are there? Four, eight, twelve. Cheese and rice. No, you can get that. That's fine. I'll use them. Yeah, we'll we'll take the whole pack. All right. Pew pew counter. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, dude, there's a $114 pew. That you see that? Guy? Yes. That's a 22, 22, I bet. Oh, I 
Oh, I see we get that guy. Oh, God, yeah. You see that it? $99? Wait, which one? Oh, it does. That's $99. That's a single barrel shotgun, I think. Dude, they got some cheap ones. Dude, I've never seen a gun for under $100 in my life. Have you? Uh, hey, sir, we'd like some help here. Um, oh, what can I help you with? Uh, actually, oh, I see that one. That one's 526 I think that'll work. Yeah, that's the... you ever seen a $99 gun? I've never seen... I'm shook. That's, that's a bargain. We're, yeah, we're bargain shopping out here. So I think what we're going to try to do is get... We'll talk to the, the person in the back. We're going to try to get the most expensive pew they have and then the cheapest pew they have. The little blue one's a bolt pack. Oh, really? All right, so we've come to the conclusion here, folks. What we're going to do is get the cheapest pew Walmart has. Nine, you've never seen... You used to sell guns for yeah. a living, and you've never seen a $99 no, gun. Like under 200 is yeah, super it's, rare. Yeah, but $99. $99. Like, it's a Hatfield 20-gauge single-shot Walmart. Wa no, Walnut stock. <laughs> $99. Can you... 100 bucks. Who sells pews for $100? I've never seen it before. So we're going to see if we can ever get some customer service help over here and take a look at this thing. Guys, you know they sell these? They got range finders. What is that guy? What is that? so weird looking. That's Big Jim. That's got zoom on it. Maybe we need that. Really? That's IR, infrared. That's that, night vision. That is yeah. more expensive than that gun. Yeah. That is crazy to me. Yeah, I think it's a night, that's a night vision. So, so just to let you guys know what Walmart does have, the most expensive one I see is a, it's a 308 <laughs> win. It's a Savage. It's a Savage bolt action. It's probably similar to the one I already have. I, I have a, uh, or that mine might be that. I have a 308 win. Yeah. And it comes with the scope though. So the most expensive one they have is 526. They have a bunch of them between like three and four hundred dollars a whole bunch of them and then yeah they got 308s i mean for three for 378 dollars for 308 it's a pretty good deal i feel like but a hundred dollar peel i feel like has got we've got to try it we've got to see if it's good because all you guys out there that want to go be a duck hunter and go shoot squirrels but don't have money for the pews this is a potential steal but instead of you having to go buy it and then see if it's garbage or not we will let you guys know Shoo! we made it folks we're walking outside that's the what's that say has its own lock, yeah. has its own lock. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty neat. See, for a hundred bucks, you get its own lock too. Oh, wow. So we got a new pew, 20 gauge, break barrel shotgun. It might be the new Rabbit Killer 3000. It, you know, another 20? No? <laughs> I don't have 20 on me, actually. Uh, I, I take Venmo. Really? <laughs> really? So we got the new pew and some ammunition, and actually that was probably one of the smoothest sailing Walmart pew transactions I've ever had. She was really helpful. Hey, her, what, did anyone catch her name? Shelly. Shelly. Shelly, Shelly was a beast out here at Walmart, so you're watching, Shelly. I appreciate it. Uh, she killed the game. She got everything figured out uh, for us. So anyways, with that being said, we'll see you guys back home. Shoo! We made it back from Walmart, folks. We were at Millie. You're ready. She's excited for the new pew. All right. Well, look at it. See, look at all the new knives I got. Dude, Dude these are five dollars. Five dollars. You can't beat it. Oh, and we do have to test those. Yeah. Things. So that one's. 12, this is yeah. some 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 this. Stuff. This yeah. is something you would see on like QVC. Probably not this prop. You know what I mean? It's like one yeah. of those like ass seen on TV. Clean gunshot. So I, as you guys may may or may not know, don't usually clean my pews. I'll spray some lube in it, spit on it. That's about it. I don't actually usually clean them. Just don't. I just don't. So this is supposed to clean, shoot through gun bore cleaner. You, it's a shotgun shell. You literally load in, shoot it, and it's supposed to clean your gun. Now I have my duck hunting gun, which I've never cleaned in my life, and I've owned it now for three years. That's I, good. Like I've sprayed it, but I've never like taken it apart and cleaned Barrel's it. Barrel's gonna be dirty. Bur yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we're, we have a good test component, like test dummy, tester, tester gun. Anyway, so try. So we will try that at some point as well. Preview. Preview for a future beefcake beef exclusive. Me and Banjo and Pool Jet playing some beer pong. And Macy. And Macy. We gotta have four. Yes, we, we do. can have three yes. people. Yes. Playing some beer pong. That'll be on the beefcake. If you guys wanna know about that, it is the join button down below or there's a link in the description. You join at Beefcake Club, you guys know the deal. Anyways, here's the pew. We are ready to rock and roll. Like I said, it is a 20 gauge single barrel. Well, they're all single barrel. Single break barrel. $99. I don't know how it's 99 bucks. Like, there was a pellet gun that was more. Yes. Binos. Yes. Cell cam, uh, trail camera. Look at that little guy. And they, and they had ammo. Our Walmart was the plug, honestly. We got lucky. Usually, look at that guy. That's the show old him, rabbit killer. Show me what's propane you got. Also stacked up on the pain. Oh, you know why? Because I I bought something that's a heater and a cooker, and it uses one propane bottle, so you need multiple hey, propane bottles. So I'm not going to talk that's about nifty. that. That's nifty. Get your key out of there. They they locked it, huh? Yeah. It's not a soft trigger. Or hell. Oh God, dude. That it sounds like a a hundred pound trigger. Dude, that's some here you Dude, here you yeah. Go. That's bad. That's bad. That might be why it's 100 bucks. So, you break. Dude, talk about oh, it does do that. Conceal carry. And then you just go. You know what I'm saying? Here you go, mister. You ready? I need the ear pro. Suck no, you. No, you We bought fine. Listen, you got to be responsible. You want this one open or these? Do Big Sheila. That's going to be our travel kits that we lose every time. Yep. This is Big Sheila. 
stays here. All right, we gotta give it a test run. It comes with a book. Clean, clean. What is it? Clean who? Well, Tell you how to clean it. Maybe these is a strap. Look at that gun. Wait, that. What is? Huh? What is that? Um, How's that work? All right, we're putting in some ear pro here. What? <laughs> Big egg guy. How much to just crack it right in your mouth and swallow? I literally was gonna ask. Hundred bucks. Dang, son! You ate a gummy worm off the street for ten. No, for that, twenty. That was fine. That's a little more That's gross. That's worth it for the content. Venmo him a hundred dollars. Fifty. So Fifty. Fifty. Seventy-five. I want to crack it in your mouth. <laughs> Seventy-five. How about I throw it straight up, shoot it, and you gotta catch it on the way down. That's, That's you safe. You have to get that much in your mouth. So she said. All right, let's see if I can at least hit this. Hey, Lewis. You know if you, you give your dog an egg, they're supposed to just like hold it in the mouth. They know it's fragile. There is zero percent. Have you heard that? It's like Lucy's a TikTok. Definitely Lucy, come here. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> oh, dude, bro. Bro, and Lucy, no. Hey, Lucy. She, <laughs> bro, she, Why'd you hey, drop it? She kicked it out of my hand. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, hey, Lucy. No, you're not. She likes it. Okay, I guarantee she would not. <laughs> no shot. Lucy, she literally batted it out of my hand. She's cocked. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little, little yeet. Okay. Ready? Yep. Sayonara. Dude, this thing shoots so bad. Like the trigger is god awful. Fire in the hole. Oh, that's not loud. I mean. It's like a normal trap gun. Yeah, it's louder than a 20 gauge, like, cause it's short barreled. Like, yeah, I feel like I, my ears aren't ringing at all. No, I'm fine. No, I'd be all right. <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm <laughs> getting some rained in the on. Like that throw? It's accurate. Let me, let me see I this feel thing. like I'm pretty accurate yeah, with this sucker. Cool. Oh, you got it. How was that? Good. How hard do you think you got to pull to get that to fire? I mean, you slap it so I don't really notice. You just, you just, yeah. you just like slap it's, it? Yeah, oh, you okay. slap it. Oh, it's okay. not it's not like a gentle pull like a rifle, you slap it. He slaps it. Gentle, gentle. Make her sit. Sit, gentle, gentle. So hey, you sit, gentle. God, she didn't bite it. Not she yet. didn't pierce it. Hey, yeah. hey, Millie, no, you're not in this game. Millie would do it, gentle. Hey, here. <laughs> she didn't quite eat it. See, they'll fight over it and bite it and crunch yeah. it, though. Lucy, come here. Lucy, no, come here. Come here. Dude, she's not cracking. All right, now do it with Lucy. 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 Sit gentle. Millie, no. Gentle. Gentle. It works! Dude! She How is it? Oh, oh, rip! No, no, rip! Hey, hey, no, rip! She did no, that with her paws. No, 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 she she broke it with her paws. So, like, I guess a dog, unless they know it's food, they just hold it hold to it. figure out what it is yeah. first. Interesting. All right, folks, so here is my duck gun. This is the old rusty trusty. It also has a full choke. What choke do you think that guy has? Non existent? So, we're gonna do this is gonna be our compared to a full. Obviously, it's not quite the same because I'm assuming it doesn't have a full choke in it. We've got a cardboard box that we're gonna shoot just to show you the pattern on this guy compared to the cheap gun without a uh, 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 choke. It, it got anything in there? Nope. All right, here we go, fire in the hole. Oh God, rip. Yeah, I'd say it's tight. No wonder I'm sniping ducks, dude. That's yeah. that's the heavy hitter. You think the other one's gonna be much different? Do you think the wad's still gonna make it? Oh God, oh God, rip to buddy. Look at that, that is a tight pattern. Well, let's shoot it on the side with the $100 gun and see how it compares. 20 gauge, $100 gun. So the other gun's 2000 Yeah. $2,000. Versus a 99. Iron the hole. Sick. Oh God, look how spread out that is. Oh, that's not even straight. Like, the majority of the majority. Yeah, and the wad went through there. And that's probably where you're pretty much aiming. Yeah. Wow. That's... Look, so it covered, you could see BBs yeah, all the way out to there, to there, versus look at this one. That's about the size of my yeah. hand. And that's versus the whole, the whole box. If we shot this side, it wouldn't have been, they would have no, been missing. Yeah, it literally would have missed. That, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the difference open. in chokes. I wish I had a. <laughs> Hey guy, do you have to be so loud? I wish I had a, a pew to compare it, like a nice pew to compare it to that had the same choke, but this one doesn't have a choke, so it's kind of hard to compare it. But I would say you're not probably killing many ducks with this thing. More than 30 yards. Yeah, you gotta be, I mean, we were 20, you think? Or 15, probably? 15. Probably yeah. 15, and it spreads that yeah. that much. I mean, you're all around the duck. Yeah, at 15 but, yards. Yeah. But I think at like 30, you just ain't, it ain't the deal. Yeah. So, anyways. That's the, that's the spread on this bad boy. This is probably going to be more of a rabbit hunting gun you than shoot a duck. Clays that are like a little farther. Yeah, let's see if we can how if we can get a clay that gets thrown yeah. and see how it does. All right, so we're throwing clays now. We got the clay. Was it clay cannon? See how it does. Okay. 
I mean, it wasn't quite it wasn't quite dusted, but I mean, it it hit it. I do. I would like to take this thing duck hunting at some point. I think dove hunting, you'd probably be okay. Maybe crow hunting. Teal. Teal, teal, teal wouldn't be too bad. Oh, just because it is a 20 gauge in and of itself, so that is a slight disadvantage for. It don't. It, it don't just close right. Let easy. this one get a little farther out. Oh, I still hit it. it. I still hit yeah. it. All right, we'll try. We'll try one more. That was pretty far. How far do you think that is? Like 50, 40, probably 40. Yeah, we'll try one more of those guys. Pull. I think it's probably over it. It's yeah. kind of hard once it starts to go down. Yeah, to it hit is. It, you know you got to I mean? like lead it downwards. So, Gravity sucks. The other thing we got to look at. Oh God, that ain't a clean one there. Can you guys see if I can see? Can you see that? It doesn't want to look through it. Really? It only wants to focus on either it or behind it. Well, let me tell you, yeah. it's dirty. It looks like you took a salt and pepper shaker. Oh yeah. And and coated. It looks like it. a dirty gun. So we got those cleaning bullets. Yep. We'll I'll get them. It. And they were. You got 20 gauge, right? Yeah. All right, let's see if that, those things actually work. And then I got to show you a new pew that doesn't have anything to do with this video other than it's new. Haven't shot it yet, have not pulled the trigger on it yet. We need to shoot it and we're not gonna really sight it in today. It got bore sighted. Oh, we have a bore sight. We could try oh, we that. Do, yeah. Let's do that. So I bought a bore sight so we could bore sight it and then at least get it on the target and just see how it shoots. Clean shot, not sponsored. Let's see how clean it gets. Are you skeptical? I think it'll do pretty good. Especially only a couple of shots. Recoil a bunch? I mean, yeah. That was, why oh, was that, that loud? Weird. Yeah, that was super weird. loud. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Is she clean as a whistle? She is, I will say she's clean. Oh, it actually really worked. Clean. Lucy, I, there's nothing for you to get. Dude, look at that. Oh wow. It's clean. That's so cool. That's weird. I mean, for just- That's the easiest way. Like, yeah, it's not like, there's, there's like 98 percent. Yeah, I was gonna say there's still a couple specs, but like the Good majority of it's gone. Us. Well, hundred bucks will get you one of these guys. You can kill duck with it if it's close enough and you got a good enough shot. It's not very easily like the barrel doesn't break and shut that easy, and the trigger pull is pretty. I'm pretty confused about. What do you think goes there? Like usually, you know how you have one of those things like you can open it, but like yeah. this has a screw in, so yeah. you can't. Also, notice like you can move this, like. So if you want that to be like closer, which really, I don't know why you ever would, but for a hundred bucks, I think it's a good I deal. Think, I think it's a good. It investment. works. If you, if you are just a somebody who needs a pew to go shoot something to go hunt, first I, first gun. It's a great first gun. Yeah. It, it's fairly light. The thing about shotguns is the lighter they are and smaller, like for youth, the heavier or the actually harder it actually kicks. So that's one thing that you have to pay. Like if you've got getting a kid for a gun, or if you're getting a kid for a gun, if you're getting a gun for a kid, the smallest and lightest for shotguns is not always the best. You want to get the biggest that they can physically hold. I think this would. You it's, gotta, not, it's not youth size, but no, it's a little long. But it's a like, little long. You can always have someone like. Cut but it for down. like you know, like a 10, 12, 13, 14 year yeah. old, that'd be a beast. So about 10, 12, 13 years, and then your son will be using this. Or daughter. Banjo's pregnant. <laughs> actually. What? <laughs> All right, let's let's look at the new pew. Boom! New pew. Who dis, folks? This is a this is a six five shocker. Right? I have like nine of these now. But this was I went okay. This was my own birthday present. I was like, hey, it's my birthday. What am I gonna get? Why not go get a pew? And then I thought, well, what pews don't I have? I have all the pews that I think I need, except maybe a fifty cal. I don't have a normal hunting rifle, like just a straight up. Let's go shoot a deer. I've got a lot of six fives, but they're all like the AR ten styles. This is more of just a straight up bolt action. Um, so I got a scope on here that is, I think it was a four by sixteen, so a good like middle range deal. Bolt action, just straight up grinding in the woods for big mamma jamma, six five. So we got a bore sight. Right, let me see what happens. Let me see how close it is as it is. It's one tick low. So, how do you load this sucker? Look at that, I just love that round. Something about it. Makes you feel good? You ever just, no, I, the seven, seven six two is kind of a cute one too. You look yeah. at that and it's like, man, that would mess someone up, you know? But that, that I like, it's just long. What? <laughs> that would mess someone up. Or, or deer, I guess. Or something. Or something. I don't know how many- Is that really how there. you load it? I think so. It doesn't have a mag. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. true, true, true. This reminds me of like a 308, just a great deer hunting gun, you know? Yeah, that's what, I mean, That's they only had this in a 6.5. The other reason why I always keep buying 6.5s is because that's all you I have, have ammo for. have plenty of ammo. So it's like, why would I buy a 308 when a 6.5 is basically the same thing? Keep going? I don't know. We'll we'll I would guess five, but I'm not sure. All right, well, let's see if I can hit anything. Christians in arms. So like, no, this thing. It's a oh. QR code. Pa! It just goes off. <laughs> That's what I was like. All right, she's on fire. God. That's loud inside. Dude. Huh? Dude, I, I felt the ground shake. Bruh. 
Man down! Man, man down, that was the loudest gun ever. I see why you don't shoot these inside. Man, I might be hit. I think I'm bleeding somewhere. Ah! Dude, I smoked it right where I was aiming, dead center though. That's pretty nice close. shot. I smoked it 10 yards away. <laughs> First off, we're 25, okay? It's on, oh, actually, it's on fire. You still got a racket, but we gotta get, let's get out of the dungeon here. Is that where you were aiming? Oh yeah. Way quieter outside. Yeah, it is quieter. All right, full jet, you're up. You were aiming for the head? Yeah. That's that pretty accurate then, the old boar sight, does it? Oh! Dude, it just packs a punch, fun. man. That's still good. I like this gun. Dude, I like, it's this a beast. Cool. It's a beast. It's I'm happy with that too. thing. It's not crazy heavy. No, it's, we literally got it for, is there one left? Yeah. Let her rip. Miss. Too that's, low. that's close though. Too <laughs> a little too low. I'll show you the, the I shots. I went center, pool jet went low, banjo went high. Dude, that we're gonna kill some stuff yeah. with that. That's it's like nice. it's so lightweight. It's so yeah, light. Like you can walk anywhere with it. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna be good for me. I feel like we were we were pretty stable shooting yeah. it too, like being able yeah. to hold on to yeah, it. Is there another one? That's nice. It's supposed to be a high a higher end gun. When I when I got it, that's they said that was the deal. So look at this. Shoo! I was aiming center mass. Banjo went head. Pool jet went a little bit low. Those were the three shots. One, two, three. Rip. Did you shoot the board? That ain't it though, is it? No. No. No, I think it would have been a bigger hole than that. Because it didn't go off the backside, did it, or did it? Oh yeah, I blew its back out. I don't know if that was it. You might have just made it There's like no skim to the side. You don't think so? I feel like it would have been that bigger. Like Anyways, the new pew works. I'm excited. New hunting gun. But the Walmart pew, the hundred dollar gun, pretty overall is pretty darn good, I would say. I, I think it would be a good investment for you guys. Like I said, I, the idea was let's just try it, see if it works, give you guys our honest opinion. Um, we've done like a cheap Walmart pew video once, and that's the pump shotgun that's a 12 gauge that we use in a lot of videos but this was genuinely the absolute cheapest one that they had available so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video kind of a quick one we got some stuff ready with the animals got them figured out got them ready for the cold weather and we had fun shooting peas we put the dogs in here to protect them from the sound it's all right you got it you got it you got it. Lucy! Lucy, you got the apple. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, the Beefcake Club will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. You want to be an ultimate beefcake, access to gaming videos, live streams, bonus vlogs, the whole nine yards. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in Peace.